Meet Dr. Temi. This is the first autonomous robot that is used for patient care. It is used to get to the patient bedside. The problem that the robot is really, really tackling is the problem of how do I get my doctor from point A to point B behind the screen performing telemedicine. So the robot does not need a nurse to get to the bedside. It needs, it's autonomous. The provider just click on the room number and the robot goes to the bedside. When it gets to the bedside, it has blood pressure cuff, it has pulse oximeter, it has five lead EKG, and lastly, it has a digital stethoscope. With the stethoscope, you can listen to the patient's lung and heart and abdomen remotely with an assistant at the bedside just placing the stethoscope. This is efficient in the sense that you can be in one location and see patient in hundreds of location without having to travel there. The time study showed that it would take a provider approximately two hours from point A to get into the patient versus three minutes from getting to the base to the patient. We all know that time is money. So getting the provider to the bedside is paramount. This machine solved that purpose. It has continuous patient monitoring. It has continuous temperature. It can measure pulse oximetry. And everything that, I, that comes on the patient monitor goes on the a screen of the robot, and I can see the screen of the robot remotely. If I want to see the patient monitor, I click on the patient monitor, I connect it with the Bluetooth, and I hit start. Everything on the patient monitor is now transferred to the, to the screen of the robot. As a provider on the other side, I can see control everything that's going on on the robot. I can move the robot, okay, I, I can use my cell phone, I can also use a computer to get the robot back and forth. Also, I can tap on the surface of the robot and it will follow me. It will move and if I turn around, it will continue to follow whoever it's locked on. If I want to stop it, I hit stop. And if I need it to come back, I can turn it to me and I can, and it will continue to come. It has external cameras. I can add an otoscope. I can also have high resolution camera for wound care purposes. I can look at the wound. So the robot solved the problem of getting the patient to the bedside. So I want to measure the oxygen saturation of myself. So I put the pulse oximeter on and it will be displayed on the screen what my oxygen saturation is after reading it. My oxygen saturation is 97. Uh, this is the continuous temperature and my pulse rate is 58. And if I do the blood pressure, it will measure here. I can also do continuous blood pressure measuring. I can attach it to the patient and have the machine just do blood pressure every 10 minutes, every five minutes, something like that. So this is versatile. It can be used at the bedside, it can be left there, and the provider can come back in and just assess the patient. This is also be being used by the nursing team. We have remote nurses that will go to see the patient at the bedside, that will discuss their finding, they will discuss what they are doing. It is also used in the home care setting, is used in the hospital setting and is used in the nursing home setting. So this is one of, we are here today in HIMS. Uh, we are the only robotic company in the entire 70,000 visitors and over 2,000 vendors. 
ATG Antemi is the only robot that is featured in this event for this week, for this week. So please uh, reach out to us at www.advancedtelemedicinegroupllc.com or www.robotemi.com. We'll be glad to assist you. We'll be glad to uh, give you a full demo. And how do you acquire? The robot is rented. We understand the cost. Now, when you use it for telemedicine, you can also bill for origination fee. The code is Q3014, where you get about $27 for every single time a provider uses the robot to see a patient. So it pays for itself. So there is almost, you know, budget neutral situation. A lot of providers are using it now. A lot of nursing homes are using it now. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.